our responsibility is to do thorough and comprehensive uh, investigations for our customers, which is the citizens. If you weren't looking for Detroit's Office of the Chief Investigator, you would definitely miss it. But to be clear, the work that's done here at their Palmer Park headquarters is some of the most valuable in the city. This is where the police are policed. And Lawrence Akbar is the interim chief investigator. Are you convinced that there are cops on the force today who shouldn't be? Yes. The staff here investigates non-criminal complaints against Detroit's cops, like whether an officer used appropriate force, conducted an improper search, or had a poor demeanor. And business, unfortunately, is booming. As of earlier this month, more than 800 complaints have been filed since the year began, a 20% increase from the year before. Are you satisfied with the time it's taking to investigate complaints today? Personally, I wish it was, it was um, uh, faster, uh, to be honest with you. Each citizen's complaint is supposed to be investigated within 90 days of it being filed, a standard set by the Department of Justice. But the problem is that as complaints kept rising this year, the number of investigators kept falling. First came COVID, which forced the city to cut back employee hours from five days a week to just four. Then investigators got sick, including two who had to be hospitalized. On top of that, several investigators retired or quit. Add it all up, and the office funded for 18 investigators has just 12 today. Which is why now, of the 280 investigations that are open, half have been sitting for more than 90 days. That means the voices of citizens that are complaining, they're going un unheard. Daryl Brown is a member of the Board of Police Commissioners, which helps oversee DPD. He says the 90-day benchmark is important not just because witness memories fade over time, but because the very best witness of all can disappear. Those uh, body-worn cameras, that's discarded after 90 days. So it, it needs to be done and investigated so that we, they can pull that information and keep it. The good news is that later this month, two new investigators are set to be hired. But that may not be enough. Years ago, Lawrence Akbar says this office had 21 investigators. And as complaints continue to pour into his office, he says it's clear they need all the help they can get. Why don't you have as many investigators as you say you need? Because it sounds like you've got more work than you could possibly well, keep up with. Well, with your TV show and my boss is listening, I'm quite sure th they're, they're going to make that happen. His boss is Reverend Jim Holly, the new chair of the Board of Police Commissioners, who tells me today that he's hoping to have all 18 positions filled by November 1st. But to go from 18 to 21, that requires approval from the Detroit City Council, which he's working on today. We're in Detroit. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.